Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock 2, The Isle of the Deranged. This puzzle has yet to be activated. A shame. No idea why or how at the moment. So we just... We go into the, the cemetery. I think that's a good plan. The cemetery is a good plan. Okay. Now we do it exactly the other way around. Or do we? Let's try this. We want to go to the cemetery. The cemetery is a dangerous area as it's filled with traps. And I've got a lot and a lot and a lot of technical breakdowns of this game in the last times. So we really, really, really have to be... Was I here? Yes, okay, I was here. There is no way to get on that thing, right? No, no, okay, I get it. Um, I had a lot of technical breakdowns of this game lately. So we'll make the recordings a little bit shorter just to ensure that I can make the recording at all, because... Wait a minute, what's that? Oh, that is pop probably the trap itself, yeah. Okay. It's caution, spotting mushroom, yes, I found that by myself. Anything here? No. Thank you for spitting me in the back. Exit. Oh, crap. Ah, at least something to eat. Could be worse. Yay! Oh great, didn't kill one. And they're all coming my way now. Ah, good thing they're all dead. Uh, willpower. Uh, who has the lowest energy reserve? I think it's you. Yes, by far. Welcome to the team. Willpower is important. Okay, there is... Water. I think there is someone down here. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. No, I was not. Why are we not regenerating more energy? And dead he is, okay. But that does not help us even a little. Does it? No, it does not. These fireballs are flying pretty fast. Look at this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. They're flying too fast to get past them. We're getting hit anyway. So screw this. We're moving right through. How badly were we hit? Accuracy minus 50. And we have reduced speed. Oh boy. And then there is nothing. Great, and we got even got poisoned. Things go worse, please don't tell me. Okay, let's see if there is up anything else we can do. Ah, oh, crap shit.
I, you're not telling me I missed on that distance. Oh yes, because my accuracy is minus 50 now. No wonder I'm not hitting anything. And I'm really badly poisoned. Okay, first one who comes out. That really hurt. Yeah, as if I don't have enough fireballs already in my face. Well, this is worth 500 XP. And I'm abyssally badly wounded. Every member of the team is wounded. He's poisoned. Well, he's not wounded, at least. Now, look at this. Ooh, yes. Cannonballs, nobody needs that. Potions, nobody needs that. Recharging, nobody needs that. A Tome of Health. Oh, boy. You are low on health. And a gauntlet of protection. Plus five protection, strength, and dexterity. Uh, you've got those things, you've got those things. I think they go to you. Oh, don't tell me there's another spitting mushroom thing. There is. Great. No loot here. I get fired in my back with poison, as always. More deadly traps, yes, what did I think? Can you please, please kill that thing? That would really help the cause. And at least we got some rocks. Ouch. Knives, knives, rocks, and something, and rock? Oh, well, it has something to do with the panel, I guess. Hell of the Punisher is known to have forced thousands to their death through slavery. The purpose of this enslavement was to construct various buildings and protect the you see here of the thousands that were abducted and sent to the isle. Only a few hundred survived. Those did were deemed too strong for men, men labor tasks, which can start the opportunity to use them as soldiers. Their main task was to maintain order on the isle. If these soldiers attempt to seize power, escape, or investigate a revolt, Kelda would swiftly eliminate them. Even now, Keldor enjoys punishing any infidel who disobeys, especially in a public of warning or to others. Twisted mind, Keldor offers no answers to your questions. The title of the Punisher suits him well. Well, okay, we'll kill him in the next episode as a special episode of Kaldar. See you all then. Bye.